Take a look at what happened in Dallas overnight. Hit so hard by that tornado touching down. Mm -mm -mm. Homes and businesses demolished. And from Illinois to Texas, they are bracing for another possible tornado threat this morning. Marcus Moore is in Texas for us this morning. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Robin, good morning. It was a rough one here. You can see what this powerful storm did to this uh, this van. Several thousand pounds left tossed around. There are trees that have been snapped here and the roof of that home just behind us. The roof torn away. And this morning, more than 160,000 customers are without power. Overnight, tornadoes striking North Texas. Oh my God. This is a tornado touching down right now. I see upward motion, strong upward motion. Lots of debris flying. The twisters destroying homes and businesses, tearing apart everything in their path. I mean, it's just really, it's a war zone. I don't know a better way to call it. I went and got my bathtub and put pillows and a mattress over me and just held on. Down power lines and massive trees now uprooted. Multiple reports of people hurt in their homes from broken glass. They got trapped people inside. I think they've got multiple victims here. A possible tornado flattening this Home Depot. Residents forced into the streets, checking on their neighbors and calling loved ones. We've had tornado warnings all around us. This is the first one that I've ever seen hit in Dallas. The cars in this shopping center wrecked and tossed around. This video showing the aftermath of one of the twisters on a popular highway in Dallas. Debris in this jackknife truck blocking lanes. The owner of this video telling us about what it was like to witness that terrifying twister. I tweeted and it was like, I think I just almost drove into a tornado. I froze because there was nowhere I could go. Several schools have canceled classes today because of the damage and also the power outages. And they have been able to clear some of the roadways, Robin, but the cleanup really hasn't even begun yet. Yeah, uh, we're thinking of everybody down that way. Thank you so much, Marcus. Let's bring in Ginger, who is tracking where that storm is headed next. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning to you, Robin. The threat is now for a few states. You can see the long line of storms from Illinois right through Memphis down into Louisiana. So it's this morning. Often we talk about severe storms in the afternoon. This is kind of the second severe storm uh, season that kind of happens and moves into Dixie Alley in the fall, early winter. And it's happening this morning. Tornado warnings have been popping even north of Memphis. But I want to go ahead and focus on the state of Mississippi because you're going to see late morning that line of severe storms come through and some specific things happen happening even into the western panhandle of Florida. But again, Mississippi, the whole state in the severe risk today. So we thought we would focus on it. Bring it out. The whole state turns yellow because you're in that convection, right? What does that mean to you? Well, in the next couple of hours, you're going to end up seeing the potential for the not only damaging winds that you've seen in that line, but the isolated tornadoes. So know this late morning into the early afternoon, the state of Mississippi, including Greenwind, which is in a severe thunderstorm watch right now, has the possibility of seeing these severe storms. I don't know if I made that clear, but I want to make sure everybody knows, George, right now. Crystal clear. Okay, Ginger, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.